have you ever been ski touring? Is it something you've considered in the past? What is something that brings you the most joy? And then all of a sudden, bam, you're huge, you're massive. I'm willing to let them die for my enjoyment. <laughs> so, this is me back. I say, Baral, hi, you don't know, but I've took the week off running. Uh, ended up with a, a cold or like something, whatever. But I decided just to give my, my running a miss for a week. Uh, I do have my, my 10k race at the start of February, so I need to get back on it. Uh, I am now going to be running six days a week. Uh, I've got the, the plan for myself all written out. Uh, I'll share that information another time. But I'm excited, very excited to be back running again. Uh, again, I realise it's only been a week, but I don't know, just miss it. Uh, I actually have a, a ski touring day organised. It is with a, a page called... Ooh, that's not the name of the page. <laughs> the page is called British Backcountry. Uh, they're doing organised introduction days to ski touring. So, very, very excited for that. Um, hey, I'm not entirely sure on the distance and elevation for the day, but... With the running, it's just going to be good having my fitness up for that regardless. I like, I want to be able to enjoy that to the fullest. So, yeah, the fitter I am, the more, oh, Jesus, the more I can imagine myself enjoying it. I'm going to go just now. I want to focus on my feet through this field. I'll be back. So I think the elevation is going to be somewhere, I think I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the elevation somewhere around like six to eight hundred metres. Um, it's not ridiculous, but I've never been used to, uh, well one, I've never actually done ski touring before, so I'm not used to walking, well with skis, um, or with a bag on. I'm not too sure, I need to like pack up all my gear, just going to see what it is I'm taking, what the weight is. and. But yeah, just get comfortable with that weight. I think uh, the closest, uh, the closest ski slope for me would be Hill End Ski Slope in Edinburgh. Uh, it's a dry slope, so yeah, it's got a nice lift. I say a nice lift. What's a bad? I don't know words. Um, but yeah, it's got a lift regardless. So I think I'll be able to go there and then just practice some ski runs with a bag on. So. Well, it's no problem whatsoever. I'm actually looking forward to that. Yeah, I say I'm looking forward to that, but I think the thing I'm actually most looking forward to is learning about uh, avalanche safety. I just feel like that's going to be really, really interesting. One, because, well, it could save your life, uh, save other people's lives, and just generally, it seems like a cool skill to have. Um, yeah, I really want to be so proficient in avalanche safety that I feel comfortable taking other people out with me. Um, there's a few of my friends they uh, all want to get into skiing and snowboarding so we can do those kinds of holidays going forward. So the idea of being able to take them out to off-piece stuff safely and like with confidence I feel like just be such a good feeling. Um, obviously it's a very big uh, weight to have on your shoulders because you're literally taking other people's lives into your hand but I'm willing to let them die for my enjoyment <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, that's pretty much it uh, whew, I'm, uh, I'm struggling with this today, I'm not going to lie beautiful day for it though just uh, happy to be out Just thinking there, what is something that brings you the most joy? Like, what's something you maybe believe would bring you the most joy that you've maybe not done yet? Maybe it's just, it seems out of your reach or like your circumstances maybe don't allow it. Um, maybe you feel like they don't allow it. And then, how could you make that happen? Like, have you ever sat down, thought of a game plan as to like, this is how I would like my life to be 
this is how I see myself being in life and then just working out a strategy to make that a reality, make that your reality. Um, I feel like as long as, well, this is easy for me to say given the circumstances that I have lived through, but if you're willing just a little thing each day to work towards your goals, it all adds up. It really, really does. There are, uh, there are, there are better words for this, but it's like going to the gym. If you want to be big and strong, or even just strong in general, like nothing happens overnight. You can't just go do a really big push one day, and then all of a sudden, bam, you're huge, you're massive. Oh my god, that's ah, that's so wet and cold. Ah, um, uh, <laughs> sorry, distracted. Um. Yeah, it's not like this is going to happen overnight. You need to have a game well, like, You don't even need a game plan, you just need to show up. You have a goal, just show up. Just do something. Something's better than nothing. And then one day, who knows, you might be big and strong. You might not, but regardless, you'll be able to say to yourself that you tried. And that really is the main thing. Just no leaving anything on the table and just... It's, it sounds so cliche, but you literally have one life to live and you really just should do what you want to do like who cares just do it just do it now back to the ski touring have you ever been ski touring is it something you've considered in the past uh, very keen to know if you've looked into it like what equipment did you take just everything to do with it i'm very very interested to hear about it um I feel like there's just an endless amount of knowledge that you can have for ski touring. Uh, so yeah, the more you're willing to share, the better. Please and thank you. On a separate note, I need to remember I am a hot runner. I run hot. Um, <laughs> um, I was thinking of too many stupid comments in my head. Um, <laughs> but yeah, in a literal sense, I do run hot, um, I just, I think uh, it's like minus one just now, I would happily just be in just short and no t-shirt, but I always just end up being too, too layered, uh, I've got my like long sleeve on and then I've got my shorts and my leggings, realistically I could be going without it all, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I'd maybe get some funny looks if I was going without it all, but yeah, I need to remember that for the ski tour day. As I'm like, oh, there's snow, I better wrap up like an Eskimo. But for myself, it's just not the case. Less is more, I can heat up on the go and then just pack more jackets rather than wearing them all. Something I need to remember. Now, if you've been watching previous videos, uh, you may recognise this place from one of the other ones. This is the the reservoir. It's just a beautiful day for it. So why would I not want to be out here? Look at it. Look at it. This, this is just such a nice place to run. I know I've shown it before, but I'll just let it show it again in case you've not seen it, because it's highly likely you have not seen this. But this is why I love just getting out days like this. Not a soul around. It just, I'm sure there's a Billy Conley, hey Billy Conley, is it? Hi, Billy Conley quote. It just says about how Scotland's beautiful and there's just no bugger here. Well, no buggers to be found. Except me. Now, I actually need to talk about this race as well. Um, hopefully the sun's on your eyes. Um, yeah, this race. So, 
it's a 10 kilometer race uh, never done it before, like done a race before uh, this year i've actually only ran 10k twice this today is me on week 13 still off my plan uh, so as i say ended up just having a cold or whatever not ran this week so this is me doing my uh, 11.2 kilometer run for the day uh, well to end off week 13 it'll then go into a a sort of recovery week uh, just less mileage it'll still be the same kind of training but just less mileage for the week so yeah i'm going to be incorporating speed training like i've been doing that said been doing the week before last before end of hell uh, yeah i start doing just start doing speed training uh, i really want to talk about this more but I am flagging the last video that I recorded. Uh, no, it was my hill run, Pentland Hill run. Um, I said about how everything's not as it seems on social media. I don't believe it all. Well, here's a reality check of that once more. I've uh, picked his way through the fields to extend my distance. Whoa, I regret it so much. Cannot be. Oh, nice view. <laughs> um, I cannot be bothered again in the slightest. Again, not. We're going to get it done. We are going to get it done. I don't know why I hate myself so much, but we will get this done. I know, I just complained about the field, but stuff like this really does make it worth it. Why? Why, oh why, is there a wall here? Why? I'm just going to sign this off here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you have a fantastic day and if you've got any other information in regards to just running in general any tips for training like longer distances whatever please do let me know very interested to hear what you've got to say and same goes for ski touring um, very very keen to learn more so yeah have a fantastic day